Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to Stanzerhorn. Now if you are tourists, there are several different tickets you can get to get from let's say Zurich Airport to Stanzerhorn. There is the Swiss Travel Pass where you can um, buy one ticket for everything. Let's say you're here for seven days in Switzerland and you can buy a travel pass for that amount of days. Although it's a super convenient ticket, it's also very, very expensive to get the ticket just to go everywhere you'd like to. But if you know where you want to visit in advance and you know your dates where you want to go, there's a cheaper alternative and I'm gonna show you how you can book that. So if you go to the SBB page, you have several options and if you look at the web page, you're gonna see the Swiss travel pass and there's an option of Saver Day Pass. Now the way Saver Day Pass works is you book a date in advance and then you can ride on that day. And here's the thing, the further away your travel date is from today, the cheaper it will get. So let's just open the page and if you're watching this video, it's the 10th of June 2024 and you see a second class ticket full price is around 119 francs but if we go let's say to July so I open up the calendar and I jump to 10th of July you can see the price of the travel pass has dropped to 79 Swiss francs and let's go a little bit more into the future so I chose the latest available spot which is the 9th of December and you can see that the cheapest fare is at 52 Swiss francs for a full fare so if you already know when you want to travel to Switzerland I highly recommend book your ticket in advance so so another thing you might have to consider is where you can go with the travel day pass and there's actually a map from SBB where you can check out if your trip is included in the day pass. So if we jump right into the map you can see Switzerland and you're gonna see the red lines or the railways which are included and if we zoom a little bit further in you can see yellow lines appearing on the map and these are for the buses which are included. I'm gonna zoom in into Stanzerhorn and you can always click on the map to see what is included and what not. So getting to Stanzerhorn from Zurich is two train rides away. There's a direct train from Zurich to Lucerne and then you have to switch trains from Lucerne to Stanz. And once you get to Stanz, you walk to the funicular and then you take the funicular up to the first cable car station and then you go up the mountain. It's quite an interesting ride and the weather forecast was a little bit uncertain so this is one of the downsides if you choosing the day savers pass don't have really control of the weather and you can't like switch the dates if you already pre-booked for a certain date and looking into the weather app i saw that the chance of raining is pretty high in certain areas but the area around stanzon didn't indicate any rainfall on the weather app So when I arrived at the top of the mountain, the weather got worse. There were fog all around and I checked the weather app to see if it's worth staying on top of the mountain or if I should switch locations to get the better weather. I decided to do the circular trail around the top of the mountain. This usually takes around 30 minutes and I hope that the weather gets better when I do the trail. So in my backpack I took with me the Yashica T5 and the Canon AE-1 and I started with the Yashica T5 and the roll of Portra 800s because I was already really early on the top of the mountain and I didn't know the lighting conditions on top of the mountain and Portra 800 is just a safe bet for a variety of lighting situations. So let's go through the images. So the first image you see is a little bit blurry and I guess this is from the dim lighting situation that I had on this particular shot. And 
and once I got around the mountain top I saw the clouds or the fog coming from the right side pushing up the hill and rolling over the ridge on the other side The weather was clearing up and more and more sunlight was shining through the clouds and I saw the sun pushing through, lighting up these little villages down in the valley and I took a picture. Here is another perspective of the clouds or the fog rolling over the ridge. So it was time to load Portra 400 into my Canon A1 and I totally forgot to set the ISO dial to 400 and was instead on ISO 200. If you look at the next images that I took with the wrong ISO, it is far more saturated than a typical Portra 400 look, but I think in this instance the more saturated look really adds to the image. I finished the circular trail and I was already heading back to the cable car station when I saw these two people standing on the lookout deck and I was getting ready to take the picture but they started moving before I could take the shot. On my way down with the cable car I had the upper deck all by myself and it was a pretty amazing feeling just to watch the landscape and take it all in and snap some pictures. Alright guys, that's already it. My original plan was to release a longer video where I show you my entire trip that I did with the Saver Day Pass, but I took so many pictures and I did so many different locations that I broke it down into several videos, probably a three part series. So stay tuned and thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.